Grace and peace, everyone. This is Charles here with another Midweek Recharge. And this week, I want to talk about, yeah, (laughs) kind of continuing the theme, righteousness and capitalism. And I want to challenge the idea of exactly what we're looking for from our wealth, from our prosperity. Uh, we, We have been using for an illustration the very, very famous parable that Jesus used to talk about God's kingdom with the prodigal son. And many times when we think about that parable, and even Jesus, uh, as he gave it initially to the religious leaders and the lawyers that were challenging the company that he was keeping as a quote-unquote rabbi and religious teacher while he was surrounded by tax collectors and sinners. And Jesus uses this story, this parable of this father and his son and uh, the nature of their relationship as a explanation, as an illustration of God's relationship to humanity, and in particular to those of us that maybe go astray, uh, kind of go off the beaten path, try to do our own thing, and make our way back to God when we realize that things didn't work out the way that we thought they would. There's another element to this story, though, that I think we miss where we can learn more about how righteousness can be done through capitalism. And that's the fact that the father still had plenty left over even after he liquidated a third of his estate so that he could give his son the cash he requested to go off and live the reckless lifestyle that he wanted to live, living his best life. Yeah, his son wanted to live his best life and realize that the best life was the life that his father had created through righteous capitalistic practices. His father still had plenty left over to support the servants on uh, on his property to support himself, to support his other son, any other members of the family that, that might have lived there that weren't necessarily called out in the parable. And the father was so wise and such a good steward that he had materials necessarily to celebrate his son's arrival because his father had those materials set up to sacrifice to the Lord. A fattened calf is a known Um, implement of sacrifice in ancient Jewish culture. And the father had the fatted calf, even during a time of severe famine, ready to sacrifice to the Lord. So my challenge to you this week is to really think about what your financial goals are. Why do you want to be quote-unquote comfortable or financially prosperous? Is it so that you can live your best life? Or is it so that you can give your best to the Lord? Let that be your recharge.